Hi, welcome to Esprit Tips and Tricks. My name is Sam Kaminsky. Today, I'm going to show you how to use solid propagation and grouping properties to more easily create features. There are a number of different options that can be used to select specific elements of solids or geometry. These options can be controlled through the Grouping Properties Manager, which is located on the Edit toolbar. We can apply these grouping techniques to geometry, edges, loops, faces, and bodies. These grouping commands can be activated by holding down the Shift key while making selections. To get the most out of these techniques, it is important to make sure that highlight mode and sub-element selection are enabled through the status area. We'll begin by looking at some simple geometry. With our grouping property for geometry set to endpoints, we can hold the shift key and select a piece of geometry. A spree will then propagate to select every geometry element that is connected to the original element. We can use that same grouping property from our control geometry selection as well. If we want to select a number of continuous geometry segments, but not all of them, we can select the first element, then hold the control key and select our last element. Finally, we can hold the control and shift keys, then select any segment in between the first and last elements to select all of the geometry between said elements. Next, we'll look at how we can take advantage of these grouping properties on solids. We'll begin with edges, specifically the opposite edge command. This option can only be used on faces that consist of four non-tangent edges. The face sharing the selected edge is grouped along with the next face that shares the opposite edge. Each face that shares an opposite edge is then propagated until all faces sharing opposite edges are added to the group. Now we'll examine the grouping properties options for face loops. Each loop belongs to a specific face and is composed of edges. The first loop option is adjacent outside. A selected loop's options can be shared with other edges in their corresponding loops. Adjacent outside selects the connected and shared edges in their corresponding loops. This set of associated faces is what is grouped. When a top face loop is selected, the edges that are shared are used for propagation. Another option is for closed pocket cavity. For closed pocket cavity, all faces within a selected closed face loop will be selected. The horizontal faces option will select all horizontal faces that lie within the selected face loop. Vertical faces will function similarly to horizontal faces. The maximum tilt angle is the criteria Esprit uses to define horizontal and vertical faces. When we enable wire EDM walls only, our grouping property will only select faces that can be cut with a wire EDM machine. When propagate entire body is checked, the face loop selected is grouped along with all vertical faces in the solid body. This could be useful if you wanted to group all cavities at once. When our loop grouping property is set to revolved faces, holding the shift key and selecting a loop will select all revolved faces, such as holes, within that loop. Tangent faces will group the selected face loop, and if the next face loop that shares a common edge is tangent to it, it is then added to the group. This process continues until a face loop is no longer tangent to its preceding face loop. Now let's take a look at the grouping properties for faces themselves. Several of these options will function the same as the face loop setting of the same name. Those are horizontal faces, revolved faces, tangent faces, and vertical faces. A long parametric allows us to select all faces that share the same parametric lines with the selected face. When a face is selected with this option, the parametric flow lines are displayed on the face. Faces will be selected in the direction of the parametric flow lines. To use the opposite parametric flow lines, right click to respond no when the incorrect flow lines are displayed, then respond yes to select the opposite flow lines. If you are ever unsure of what elements are grouped, you can easily switch to wireframe mode to double check your selection. Closed pocket cavity is quite similar to its equivalent loop option. All faces that belong to closed pocket areas within the selected face are grouped, and any pocket areas that have no floor are ignored. Color HSI will select any faces that fall within the same range of defined color parameters for hue, saturation, and intensity. 
color RGB functions the same way, only it looks at the red, green, and blue properties of each face. We can turn on Propagate Whole Body, and Esprit will add all faces on the solid that fall within the red, green, and blue tolerances to the group. The Faces option will simply select all faces on the solid model. Wall Faces of Bottom Face will select all faces from the selected face up to the first horizontal face above the selection. The Propagation will also group blends or chamfers if they exist. Our final grouping property, parameter, is for bodies. The only option available for bodies is holes. When propagating selection of a body with holes, all cylindrical faces within the solid model are grouped. The propagation will find all holes in the body with no criteria other than identifying whether it is a hole. That's today's tip video. We hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to subscribe to our newsletter or share this video, and stay tuned for other tips and tricks.